CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 4.1 Summarize Cloud Computing Concepts. Desktop Virtualization. Desktop virtualization fundamentally changes how we interact with computers by decoupling or separating the content displayed on your screen from the physical hardware of the machine itself. Picture a scenario where your computer's operating system, all the applications you use, and your files are not stored directly on your device. Instead, they reside on a server that's accessible over a network connection. This means that regardless of the device you're using or where you are, you can access your desktop environment with all your familiar applications and files intact. This paradigm shift embodies the core of desktop virtualization, providing unmatched flexibility, accessibility, and convenience in our technological interactions. Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, or VDI, takes this concept further. For the purpose of this training course, I will be simplifying this concept down to three main parts, the client, the server, and the virtual machines that house our virtual desktops. The client is your computer or device that you use to connect to the virtual machine. It could be a laptop, workstation, or even a tablet or smartphone. The server is the central hub that stores and manages all the virtual machine setups. This server can be local, referred to as on-premises, or located in the cloud. Then there are the virtual machines, which house our virtual desktops. These virtual machines reside on the server and are controlled by a special piece of software known as a Type 1 hypervisor. With VDI, each user will have their own virtual machine, complete with an operating system, applications, and their personal files. Just imagine each virtual machine as a personalized workspace, tailor-made for each user. Together, these components form the backbone of VDI. Now, let's walk through how a connection works. Imagine you're at home or in the office and need to do some work. You grab your laptop, which acts as the client device, and turn it on. Now it is time to connect to the server. To do this, you would open up a program or website on your laptop designed to connect you to your virtual desktop. This program acts like a special door that takes you to your virtual desktop. Next, the program will prompt you to enter your username and password. Once you do, it knows who you are and where to take you. The program then communicates with the server, saying, Hey, someone wants to use their virtual desktop. Can you help them out? The server looks up your details and locates the virtual machine that contains your virtual desktop. The server says, sure thing, and sets up a special connection just for you. And that's how a connection works in VDI. It's like having your personal computer stored remotely that is available whenever you need it. So you know what VDI is and how it works. Time to discuss some of its benefits. Firstly, VDI provides agility by allowing clients and virtual desktops to be easily initiated and terminated from the virtual desktop infrastructure. Additionally, it centralizes desktop management, leading to increased productivity. Furthermore, VBI enhances security by centralizing data and applications, granting companies remote control over users' operating systems and enabling strict access controls. With VDI, you get all these benefits and more, while also reducing operational costs. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.